Good afternoon, I'm Dave Canterbury with Wilderness Outfitters, home of the Pathfinder School. Brought my <laughs> modular Alice pack out here today, and <clears throat> I wanted to go over a couple things with you guys today. Um, probably shoot two or three little short videos today, but the first one uh, I want to talk to you guys about real quick was this whole sling bow situation. I've had a lot of people <laughs> asking me about the sling bow. Um, I have not went back out the second time on this ram hunt yet. If I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I really don't care. It's not a big deal to me. Um, but one of the things that I want to tell you guys, I want to, I'm going to show you how to do some modifications to that sling bow today. Um, there was a lot of talk when this video first came out. There was some interest from some people maybe to manufacture this and things like that. And everybody kind of jumped the gun and was worried about copyrights and patents and the idea. And, you know, I got an email from a guy night before last. And I can't remember his name, and I apologize for that. But he'll know who it is when he hears this on this video. He sent me an email, and he said, I went out and bought the components to make the sling bow that you showed, and I took it and introduced it to my, it was either an 11-year-old or 14-year-old nephew. And he said him and his buddy weren't in the woods for 45 minutes, and they came back with two rabbits. That is what it's all about right there, guys. A common kid, common person, bringing a youngster something that he can take into the woods, have a good time and occupy his mind, get him away from video games, and that's what it's all about. And at that point, I made up my mind that I was going to abandon everything that there was to do with patents and ideas and marketing. Forget that. I want this to be something that every 14-year-old kid in the United States can have and can afford and that their parents can you know, go out and get for them. And that's what I want. And when big companies start marketing things like that, prices get jacked up on things. And because of advertising, it's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the best modification I've come up with so far to the sling bow. That's very versatile. It's not very expensive to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, guys. I hope the uh, light's not reflecting too bad off of this tarp so that you can see this. What I've got is I've got a normal wrist rocket slingshot here. You can buy these at Walmart. It's a marksman wrist rocket slingshot. I've got the black replacement bands on it. And I've cut those bands off about two inches from the way that they were purchased. And these bands are available at most sporting goods stores. I will have the slingshot and these bands on my website very soon. So we have a normal slingshot that we shoot normal ammo out of. Now, here's the components that you need to make this thing perfect for a survival or self-reliance type weapon. All right, so the other components with the slingshot that I have is I have two regular strap ties. These are probably 8-inch strap ties. doesn't really matter how long they are. They don't have to be very long. This is a whisker biscuit replacement for a compound bow. These are available at Walmart. They're $20. Now, that's a pretty big expense. But what this thing does for you is pretty amazing for that $20. All you have to do is take this whisker biscuit, and if you look at it, it's got a front and a back. This is the front, and this is the back. And it's just a snap-in replacement right there. It's got a bracket. It's got two holes in it already right here at the bottom. And if you put that right in the V of that slingshot, it almost puts it dead center of that slingshot. And you've got a V right here in the front where the arrow slides into. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two strap ties and I'm going to put them through those holes and strap tie that thing straight to this slingshot. trying to do this in front of the camera for you guys so excuse me if I fumble around a little bit so there's one and put the other one through the same way just like this kind of even it up in there right in the center tighten it down as tight as I can get it just like that so now what I have is I have a whisker biscuit in my slingshot now the beauty of putting this on here with strap ties is, we're going to cut these tails off here in just a second, but the beauty of this is now, watch this guys, you can flip that right out of your way and now you can shoot normal ammunition out of this slingshot or you can flip it back up and now you can shoot an arrow through here. Now the next issue that we had, we talked about was, remember I said when you make these bands very strong, it's hard to pinch that arrow in there. Well, I've got the cure for that too, so hang on just a second. Okay, guys, so now we've cut the tails off of these two bands, and our whisker biscuit is sitting right in the middle 
And we can flip it down to shoot normal ammo or flip it up to shoot arrows. Your arrow slides right into that whisker biscuit in the V just like that and drops right in there. Perfect rest, very smooth. There's no drag like there was on that piece of rubber if you hold it sideways. You can hold it any way you want to hold it and you have no drag right there with that whisker biscuit in there. All right. Now, let's talk about the rear end of this arrow. All I did with this arrow was, on the back end of it, I wanted something I could hang on to in the pocket. So I pulled the knock out of the back of this Walmart, $6 Walmart arrow. All right. I pulled the knock out of the back of it, it just slides in. I put a golf tee in there. You can buy a bag of 100 for a couple bucks. And I epoxied it in the end of that area, arrow. So now I have a bulbous end. So now when I put that thing in the pocket of my slingshot, Instead of just having that arrow with nothing really to hang on to because it's tapered on the knock, now I have a bulb in there that I can grab onto and get a good hold on it with my fingers, pulling it out. And it slides right through that whisker biscuit, just perfect. Now the other thing about this whisker biscuit is, you see how I just pulled through there? That's how it pull, pulls through when you shoot it. And for those of you who aren't familiar with a whisker biscuit, it's just a bunch of hairs, and it puts that very little resistance when the arrow goes through it. It's just a bunch of hairs in there. Now, so what we have now is we have a $6 arrow with a golf tee in the back of it. We have a, you know, $8 slingshot, probably $10 maybe at the most, depending on where you buy it, and a $20 whisker biscuit. This is the most expensive part is this whisker biscuit, but well worth the expense because, like I said, you can flip it right out of your way, flip it back up, shoot right through it with an arrow. And the beauty of this thing is, you've got a V in here where that arrow goes through. And if you hold that slingshot sideways when you're shooting it like I do, almost like a bow, when you pull that, you can actually use that V just like a rifle sight. Look straight down that V at the end of your arrow when you pull it. I'm going to show you what that looks like here. But it makes a perfect sight. Okay, so I've got my wrist rocking around my hand here and all I have to do is just drop this arrow right in that whisker biscuit right in that right in that V it just falls right in there you don't have to feed it through anything this way you just drop it right in there it falls in that's the beauty of it then you grab that bulbous into your arrow where you've got that golf tee in there now if you hold it sideways now you can grab right onto that bulbous end and use that thing to aim it with and you can look right through that V in that whisker biscuit at the end of your arrow just like a rifle sight and it is perfect guys I mean it works beautifully. I haven't showed this on film or shot a bunch of targets with it, but I'm telling you right now, I've shot targets with it off film, and it is deadly accurate. It is more accurate even than it was when I shot it on film with just the ring in it. It's more accurate than that. Um, you can stack arrows in there all day long at 10 yards with this thing. So now, what the other thing that I've done with this, the other mod I've done with these arrows is, I've got one arrow here that's got a target point on it. I have another arrow that has a hundred grain dum dum point on it or a bunny buster they're called and it just screws into the front of the arrow and all it is is a hard piece of rubber with some knobs on the front of it and these are used for shooting small game so you screw that in there now I've got two arrows that I carry with me both of them have the golf tee glued into them they're both carbon arrows you're not going to break them one of them has a field tip on it one of them has a dum dum arrow on it if I wanted to carry three I could put one with a broadhead on it now what I've done with my backpack with my modular system here and I've got my Pathfinder dart in there as well, but all I did was I took this frame and I glued or I shouldn't say glued, I'm sorry. I took a piece of PVC right here. There's a piece of half or a inch and a half PVC tubing right here. I just wrapped it with black duct tape and I strapped it right to that pack and put it on the inside in that pocket area right there. That's a very good thing in this pack. You have an area behind it where you can actually put stuff down inside there. I've got another pouch in there too we'll talk about in a few minutes. But So now I've got my arrow quiver strapped right to my frame. So I put my arrows in there. I've got my little Pathfinder dart if I want to play with that while I'm in the woods. Right on my backpack. Put my slingshot in my cargo pocket, fold it up nice and neat just like this. And I'm ready to rock and roll. What I usually do is I'll take, this is just like a mint container from a gas station that had breath mints or something in it at one time and I've got it, it holds about 25 uh, 30 caliber ball bearing type ammunition balls that you buy for a slingshot just like this and we'll have these on our website pretty soon too the ball bearings in uh, 50 card packs but at any rate 
So that's the whole thing. You know, you got two arrows right there. You got your slingshots. You got some ball ammunition. You're ready to rock and roll for self-reliance, as far as I'm concerned. My next step, I'll tell you right now, because I'm not worried about this. I want everybody to be able to do this, and maybe somebody can give me some suggestions that will help out in this. But my next quest is to figure out a way to make these arrows socketed in the middle so that are almost like a shock cord on a tent pole. You can pull it apart and fold it in half so that you can make a small package with like three arrows and a box of ammo and your slingshot and a very small package you can put in the bottom of your backpack and you would always have some type of game getting device with you wherever you were at. Well, that's the next thing I'm going to be working on just so you know. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed these modifications to the sling bow that we talked about today. I encourage you to go out and make one of these. Um, if you kill something with it, send me pictures. Rabbits, squirrels, groundhogs, I don't care what it is. Send me pictures. I've got a couple new areas on my website. One set up for slingshot hunting and one is set up for blowgun hunting. And I want to post pictures from, you know, my viewers that have killed things with these devices to show everyone that it can be done with these small devices and that there is things out there you can sustain yourself with besides firearms because these are very, very good weapons to take with you into the woods for a survival or a self-reliance situation and you can get a lot of game with them and you don't have the loud noises of a rifle or the bulk of carrying a rifle and a bunch of ammunition. So with that said, my name is Dave Canterbury from Wilderness Outfitters Archery. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your views. Stay tuned for another segment.